Uh, but moving to the next question, what do you think or what is expected from the government of Ethiopia so as to advocate uh, Swahili language for Ethiopians as well for the Horn region? Uh, I think the, the, this, this question I will possibly answer this uh, in dividing in groups or categories because there is what we expect from Ethiopian government in Horn and there is what we expect from East Africa region and uh, Central Africa or South Africa and whole Africa in general. So starting from here in Ethiopia, the first thing we are hoping and we are pushing is that Ethiopia will adopt Swahili. Uh, in other words, is that we want Ethiopia to teach Swahili from primary school to universities. Swahili should be taught in Ethiopia. I think this should have been done since 1963, by the way. When we are talking about the unity of Africa, you cannot unite Africa unless there is a language. So, so I think the Minister of Education of Ethiopia is listening, so they will consider it. Yes, so uh, people who are in the Department of Education, they need to teach Swahili. Uh, it is unseen that they are, the Addis Ababa University, for instance, they are teaching Chinese, they are teaching Italian, they are teaching uh, French most of the time and English, but they are not teaching our unified language, which is Swahili. In fact, they are not even teaching our other languages from Africa anyways. There is, they don't even teach, I think they only teach maybe Amharic, uh, Afano Romo maybe, and Tigrinya. I am not sure for that, but for sure, I know that they are not teaching any other African language from outside of Ethiopia. So we want Swahili to be taught from primary school to university here in Ethiopia. That's the first thing we are looking for. Number two, we want, uh, this one goes to Addis Ababa mayor uh, and the Addis Ababa leadership. We want area called Swahili in Ethiopia. We have Piasa, we have uh, Arat Kiro, we have uh, 60 Kiro, we have uh, Marikato, we have Kazanches, we have Magananya, Bore, and so on. We need area that is called Swahili to recognize the language and the people as well. Uh, by the way, the Ethiopian Swahili community, our organization, is the only diversity community in Ethiopia with people from Somalia, Comoros, Uganda, Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania, Kenya, South Sudan. Did I forget any country? I don't know. But we are the only diversity community here in Ethiopia. So we need a place that to recognize us that we exist. Uh, let me start from uh, the introduction of the background part. Uh, please uh, tell us about the Swahili language. Uh, where is the origin of Swahili? Uh, how many countries uh, spoken it? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, when it comes to Swahili language, it's a little difficult to give exactly the, the countries or the number because it has different layers. But Swahili is being recognized as official language or third language at school uh, in more than 21 countries now in Africa. Uh, yes, in twen Africa. yes, uh, 21 countries. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start from maybe the recent ones and go all the way to the oldest countries. So uh, the recent one is Botswana. Botswana adopted Swahili in 2020, last year, and also Namibia adopted Swahili in 2020. Uh, then it comes to South Africa in 2019, South Africa adopted Swahili, and then 2019 also all Sade countries, 16 countries adopted Swahili. Now later we go back to 19, uh, 2007 and 8, uh, Rwanda, South Sudan, and Burundi, they adopted Swahili. And then you go a little back, you found uh, Uganda and, uh, and, Tanz and Kenya, they adopted Swahili around the 1970s. And then Congo DRC, we don't know when they adopted Swahili. And then it goes to Tanzania in 1962. That's when the first president of Tanzania, Marimu Jirus Kambarag Nyerere, adopted Swahili to be a national language of Tanzania. So those are the countries that has adopted or announced publicly that they teach Swahili at school, but also they, they, uh, uh, they, some of those countries are said that is national language of our country. Now, there's other countries aside 
the people speak uh, Swahili in those countries, maybe small numbers or la huge numbers, but they have not officially announced about Swahili. And those countries start from Comoros. Uh, more than 90% of Comoros people speak Swahili, but country officially has not announced about uh, Swahili to be taught at school or anything about Swahili. The second one will be Mozambique. In fact, uh, Philip Nusi, the president of Mozambique, speaks better Swahili than me. Uh, Mozambique people speak Swahili, then Malawi, and then Zambia, in North Zambia, then South Somalia, then North Madagascar, and then South Ethiopia, which is Moyare. So we have all those countries that have not announced about Swahili. But we cannot forget also our fellow uh, people of African descendants in America, because they also speak Swahili. More than 200 students are sent to Tanzania to learn Swahili each year from America, uh, from uh, uh, Howard University. So that's pretty much about the background of Swahili. But uh, when it comes to where Swahili is, most of spoken in which country or which areas, I would possibly say that uh, it will be maybe three countries. Three yes, uh, the first one will be Tanzania, of course, because whole full of Tanzania, so it is spoken, is used all day long. Everybody and then everybody speaks Swahili in Tanzania. Everyone speaks Swahili. There is no one person who is from Tanzania does not speak Swahili. Of course, they speak their mother tongue languages as well. Is that, uh, is that a working language? It is. Uh, Working language is official language is everything language. Okay. Then it comes to uh, Kenya. Kenya, a uh, huge part of Mombasa. Uh, Mombasa is the hub of Swahili. Uh, so that will be possibly another one. And then another one is Congo DRC. Uh, most of Eastern of Congo, people use Swahili in daily basics. Uh, so that's possibly where you can say Swahili is most of spoken uh, in almost everything, but also Comoros as well. A lot of people speak Swahili in Comoros. So I think that answers your question.